right, what is going on guys, fellows back again, and let's just talk about Mayuri in this video. I'm going to be doing a breakdown on both these characters. Not so much individual banners or anything like that. Honestly, the individuals are so dog-ass that I, I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, disappointed is like a very mild form <laughs> of, of how I feel about like the fillers in these banners. But um, either way... Let's talk about Mayuri real quick. Now, Mayuri is kind of interesting to me because he doesn't seem like a power beyond Bankai character. He looks like he kind of has... It, it's kind of just himself and this is just a different type of form. I, I don't I don't, I don't, know. Maybe I was too busy thinking on Soifon and how Soifon just fits her, in my opinion, so well. Mayuri, I expected something a little more gruesome, to be honest. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's just get right into the actual character himself. Now this character is going to be a power unit and he's going to be a nuker type, which we already have Yamamoto. And uh, when it comes to guild quest, Yamamoto is hollow killer and Quincy killer, so he has dual killer traits, whereas this Mayuri only has a Rongar killer. I'm a bit, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Concerned about how this character's third strong attack really will line up. Like if I pull up the character, let me, um, let me pull this up from Caleb themselves. Uh, hopefully I have it muted. Yeah, all right, cool. So let's do, oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. This is that, I need the gameplay. Oh, come on. Is this it? Good, 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 good. Oh, I, I do think Gin looks amazing. Um, the Mayuri, I, I kind of expected more from him because I feel like he'd be the flashier type, to be honest. And yeah, so the good things about Mayuri, he actually does have some really good skills on him. Like just pulling it up, we have Sprinter, Havoc, Marauder for his innate skills. This is going to be Sprinter plus one. For the skills, we have Berserker 40%, Frenzy plus one. So it's pretty good damage multiplier since he also has the status element Spiritual Pressure Boost 80%. He has weakened defense, bombardment, and devastation 40%. Now, somebody brought this up to me because I didn't really put bombardment and devastation together, which was, uh, in my opinion, a, a, a big L on my part. But he, but he does have damage to poison enemies and paralyzed enemies plus 80%, just like Yamamoto. Yamamoto also picks up weakening, which is a little bit higher of a multiplier than the devastation. But with devastation, bombardment, weakened defense built in, then you get the damage to poison and paralyze enemies plus 80% after the first seven hits. This is a really, really strong special, almost on the levels of Yamamoto. Not quite there, but almost, which is good. He also has debilitator plus five seconds, and his third strong attack is that trap attack. Now, I'm interested to see, because I didn't really put two and two together but i think that the radius of his third strong attack is the six is no is the aoe distant 960 is a third strong attack which sounds kind of iffy for me personally but then you have this uh this attack which honestly i don't know if this is the 630 I'm, i'd like to assume that this is because i think that the 960 is like supposed to be like massive it's quite interesting because they start off with it right and you see like all these enemies go down and then the AOE gets put in front. So I'm interested to see if this is like, I, I, I want to know the rate. I, I'm very bad when it comes to like actually like distinguishing sizes of like the enemies versus the strong attacks. But it looks like that's going to be like the 630 or whatever AOE plant. Uh, not It's not a vortex. I, I'd like to say it's a vortex, but it's not. It literally just procs the status elements. And I'm very concerned about how good this strong attack is going to be because the third strong attack 960 aoe distant still a good strong attack but for a third strong attack in my opinion you kind of want better to be honest and someone actually brought up this to me and it's kind of unfortunate the status ailment traps cannot be used in all battles in cases where they cannot be used only the strong attack preceding trap placement will deal damage which is good that it has a hit to it not just place the trap down now, the contents that you can actually use these traps are going to be as such. Every quest except for epic raids and brave battles. They specifically talk about brave battles, but they didn't talk about epic raids. This being an epic raids, in my opinion, could be inc would be incredibly strong, but them taking it out of it... I want to know 
how often the paralysis procs because when you uh let me pull it up here because you see this enemy literally just immediately roll and then as soon as he actually becomes able to be attacked um after the animation he immediately becomes paralyzed so does this immediately paralyze if someone walks into it that'll be interesting because you can actually use this in arena as well which i think that could be pretty strong especially considering this character is also immune to status ailments now being immune to status ailments and having um team party immune immunity i'm gonna be interested to see how this kind of correlates with uh, people trying to run this and then they go up against enemies that are or aren't immune to paralysis slash stun. I'll be interested to see if like this actually gets triggered with the ailment reversal or if this gets put down like a normal trap that you would find in something like Senkaimon or if you would find it in something like uh, Inheritance Trial, Inheritance Zone, you know those puddles that you want to avoid or whatever. So I'm interested to see how this this goes. Aside from that, his kit is vastly underwhelming compared to characters like Yamamoto. His first strong attack is a 570 radius lunge, which is a standard lunge. I think that we're kind of past the point where lunges are really all that good. Uh, if you're running him in IT, in my opinion, lunges are actually really, 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 really bad. Uh, let's go into the... There we go. So, regular lunge for strong attack. Nothing really too crazy here. He doesn't have Disabler, but fortunately he has that trap to fall back on. Second strong attack is going to be the Vacuum Explosion attack. This will lock you into place for a little bit of time, which is kind of unfortunate. Another reason why I don't really like his kit is, personally, I have found that lunges are incredibly dangerous unless the character is like super OP and can make use of their NAD. Uh, the second strong attack being the vacuum explosion means you're tied down where some characters have a 960 aoe distance second strong attack that deals all the damage that that 750 vortex explosion would deal if the 750 vortex explosion second strong attack or first strong attack because it can be a first strong attack nowadays if that actually dealt a lot more damage be like to merit the fact that it takes twice to three times as long to perform as some of these other faster strong attacks then I'd be all for it, but the reality is, is that it doesn't. It actually slows your speed. So there, I think that Yamamoto wins with his 3000 length beam, and his second strong attack is also the 960 homing vortex, which I think is a W compared to his um, this Miyuri second strong attack. The third strong attack, Yamamoto has a standard full screen, which I personally would like a 960 AoE distant as opposed to that standard full screen. But this Mayuri also has the trap. So in terms of like third strong attack, I do think that the Mayuri takes it. What's the cooldown on this third strong attack? Because that, that's going to be kind of big, right? It's just a regular 24 second cooldown. It's going to be a 30 second cooldown with the third strong attack. So this isn't even a normal 24 second cooldown, which means that you're not going to be able to pop this off as much. And uh, how long does it last? It stops here, right? 18 uh it started with 27 so this lasts about 9 to 10 seconds which is uh, honestly is pretty good the, like 10 second trap is really good especially if you're trying to proc a status ailment on an enemy so that way they pop their soul bomb from across the like, across the map in content like Sinkaimon. i think that that's going to be really good i don't think the Mayuri's bad i'm not saying that he's bad i'm just saying if you're gonna uh, compare him to someone like yamamoto who is arguably the best power unit in the game which um, I'm, I'm, I don't think is really a stretch to say. The Miyuri, unfortunately, in my opinion, falls short. Now, like I said, I'm not calling him bad. I'm just saying Yam Yamamoto is is better. Like, and, and people got mad at me because I called him, uh, I called Miyuri Dudu Moto. He's literally a discount Yamamoto. He just has a different killer. Now, if you need an Aronkar killer, this is gonna be your boy. This guy is gonna clap ass. I don't know how well he's going to perform at 1 out of 5. At 2 out of 5, I think he's going to be able to uh, sub 1 second. At 5 out of 5, he'll probably sub sub 1 second without even trying, which should be good as well. So we'll see exactly how, how it goes down. But that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about with the Miyuri in, in regards to Miyuri. Either way, I do like the way he looks. I actually love the fact that his Zanpakuto is literally behind him, like, punching. Like, I don't know if you, can, you, you see it, but he's actually swinging his sword around. I wish that... Um, Oh, oh, this is better. This is better. 
you see how he has these little arms extended and he just literally just goes around and like starts hitting the enemies with it which i think that's really really cool because he's fighting in tandem with mayuri but um when it comes to the soul bomb i think the soul bomb actually looks pretty good as well i Honestly, I feel like with the Soul Bomb, I'd expect it a little bit more, but I do love that, like, <laughs> Ashisogi Jizo is literally, like, eating his ring, and then he throws a tenter, temper tantrum as soon as Mayuri takes it away from him. Like, I find that hilarious. And then <laughs> Mayuri is just looking at him with content, like, huh. Yada yada dizzy. Yeah. So, I, I personally like his special. I think it's really good. I think this fits Mayuri. I just expected him to have, like, a nicer robe or something. Like, I expected something kind of cleaner or something a little more distorted like what mayuri I, I feel like would fit mayuri but whatever it is what it is i'm gonna leave it that as grind i'll catch you say bless like comment and subscribe if you know if you enjoyed this video have a great day see y'all in the next one peace